Hi everyone, it's Miss Reza from Manor Infant School. I hope you're all well and safe. So today I'm reading the story Keith the Cat with the Magic Hat by Sue Hendra. Keith the Cat was merrily minding his own business when... Whee! Plop! Ha ha ha! Keith's got an ice cream stuck on his head, chuckled the other cats. Suddenly, Keith felt a little bit shy and a little bit silly. It's not an ice cream, he squeaked. It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a magic hat. Yes, that's it. It's a magic hat. This made the cats laugh even louder. Go on then, show us some magic, they chortled. Poor Keith, what was he going to do? Well, first, stammered Keith, I need my magic wand. He reached for the chocolatey magic wand on the ground, but it started to run away, all by itself. The cats were amazed. Wow, Keith, you made it move, they gasped. Keith was amazed too, but he didn't say anything. More, the cats cried excitedly. More magic, more, more. Keith took a deep breath. Then he waved his wand around. Abracadabra. But, st but nothing happened. Keith tried again. Alakazoo. Still, nothing happened. The cats were getting impatient. They chanted and stamped their feet. More, more, more. Wizzy woo doo da and cried Keith. And just then, a whole family of rabbits popped out of the ground. They'd never heard such a noise. Keith, you did it, the other cats cheered. You magicked up some rabbits. Hooray! They were all having such a fun time that they didn't hear a distant woof. Woof, woof, woof. Yikes! A dog! Quick, Keith, save us with your magic! The cat squealed in panic. But of course, Keith really couldn't do magic. What was he going to do? The cats ran up the tree. They looked down at the barking dog. Quick, Keith, do something! They cried. Then, whoops! Keith's magic hat slipped off his head. It was falling quickly through the air. Plop! Oh no, your magic hat! cried the cats. Now you'll never be able to make the dog disappear. Keith felt terrible. It's not a magic hat, he admitted sadly. You are right all along. It's just an ice cream and now we're stuck up in this tree forever. I'm sorry. But then... Buzz! Hooray for Keith! cried the cats. Your magic even without your hat. Thank you, said Keith, shyly. And for my next trick, I will make the blob of ice cream on the end of my nose disappear. The cats waited patiently. Keith stuck out his tongue and licked it off. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and I'll see you soon. Bye.